Right, this is a team effort with no big stars. And what we have to be is enthusiastic amateurs reaching high standards of professionalism. That's my observation. Yeah, well, I'd concur with you on that one, and that's what we'll do. For about five years, Brian has opened the show every single week. Yes, near enough. About a couple, it. yes. So, tonight he's going to finish tonight. So, you're going to do one. And here's Brian, anyway, yes. High heel shoes and Mr. Big. What's this about? Somebody who's five feet four who had an obsession about his height. Mr. Big was five feet four. Mr. Big had the blues. If only he had some built up shoes. With a 14 inch lift, he'd be six foot six. He saved up his money and sent off for a pair that would lift him right up in the air to his full height of six feet six. Six feet six. Mr. Big, spelt B I double G. Oblivious to the remarks of one who mocks revelations when he opened up the box. Oh, joy of joys! He could be taller than the other boys. He could be taller than the other boys. so mad, he hit the roof. The consultant had told him, had told him it was hurricane proof. What first attracted me to your, to your style, was your lyrics, you know, James Bondage and Beyond the Mersey Light Losers with £50,000 number plate. I know exactly what you mean. I'm thumbing a ride near the Mersey Lights In the hot rain with my soggy sign My sodden smile Dinner on the table, salesman pass me by And all the smug losers with no life Who the hell am I? third album does well the first and second will, will start doing better you know what I mean you've only got to sort of capture the imagination of the buying public yeah yeah I, I and agree. they will start to sort of tune into your lyrics and your way of doing things but thank you all very much I'm very grateful I've thoroughly enjoyed this evening in my quiet sort of way <laughs> Right, okay. Well, I heard a lot of talk about love being the same. You pay no heat, they don't mean a thing. You got to be a real good lover to hold that line. Say you better mind. Better mind. You better mind. You better mind. You better lose the woman you love any old time. The big shot. I am the big shot. You heard me right the first time. Name of Bachelor Johnny Cool. <coughs> Occupation Big Shot. Occupation at the moment, just having fun. What a party that was. The drinks were loaded and so were the dolls. I narrowed my eyes and put a stiff Manhattan. Then I saw Hotsy. What a dame, a big, bountiful babe in the region of 48, 23, 38. One hell of a region. She had the hottest lips since Hiroshima. I had to stand back for fear of being burned. Whiskey, wow, wow, I breathe. What I used to do on stage was, I had never done that since primary school. But what I did have was my solicitor's managing clerk training whereby I'd go in front of a district judge and have to address him about a client's case. So I was used to thinking on my feet yeah. and speaking off the cuff. Mm. And 
that helped me go on stage at the folk club just sort of listen to the noise I was making with my voice listen to the noise I was making with my instrument projecting myself to the back of the room and just doing my very best and waiting for the audience reaction and that seemed to carry me through <laughs> Corporate image. It's about rude, ignorant, greedy little men putting their grubby little fingers into the cash box. Corporate image. Did you, did you work for someone? Uh, I worked for somebody like this. Right. Rude, ignorant, nasty little man. Corporate image. Rude and ignorant, selfish and greedy. To have the pennies off the needy. Buy, sell. You're fired. This corporate image was getting tired. Flashy office offices across the nation. He had a trophy for fornication. Start self-respect. He did not give a hoot. How immaculate he looked in a bespoke tailored suit. Five feet four, his manners were poor. His corporate car with a logo on the door. Corporate baby! Dig those images. Corporate baby. Dig those images. Dig those images. He was so keen and his music was mean. He rode on past a lonely greystone kirk. He played the Bowron and his name was Dirk. He was the top percussionist they had ever seen, and on his drum was the name Moonbeam. He played the Bowron. And his name was Dirk, he was the top cushionist they'd ever seen. And on his drum was the name Moonbeam. Somebody stole my teddy boy shoes. Have you heard I've got the blue? Somebody stole my teddy boy shoes. Put an advert in the news. Reward is offered for the return of my shoes. And every person does not despair. He buys himself another pair. From a charity shop does not cost a packet with that rather distinctive waistcoat jacket. What would Wallace and Mr. Simpson have said? What would they have said? Anyway, it goes like that. It's, it's, it's kind of a looking. Looking relaxed. Second hand jacket. The Edward person is what you would call a teddy boy if you were being PC, politically correct. His nails were clean upon my life. He'd clean them all with a flick knife. He went to a cafe without a care or woe, sat there drinking Americano, looking slovenly in the window. Some footwear he needed to help banish those blues. A rather nice pair of crepe sole shoes. This is about a teddy boy visiting the Royal Northern College of Music on Oxford Road, Manchester 1. RNCM erstwhile visitor. Note the jacket, it cost a packet, so Edwardly. 
fancy guitar lick as his winkle pickers, so Edward Lee, knowing right from wrong his teddy boy song, so Edward Lee, so Edward Lee, so Edward Lee, so Edward Lee. of Kabul in it, which featured his sidekick Chung. In the original comic strip, Chung was a sort of thuggish tribesman with a battered cricket bat, and he used to crack many skulls with his cricket bat, and he said, oh Lord, a boundary, I have clacked clack many skulls with my clicky bat. So it was like Pigeon English from Chung. And I once suggested to a Link House publication magazine, that they should relaunch it with Chung as a distinguished intellectual and calling the Wolf of Kabul an imperialist dog and the Wolf of Kabul had to wear a crash helmet to protect, protect his bonds from a blow from the cricket bat from Chung. And the clicky bar still clacks many skulls. If we involve a lot of people who are involved at Chung and Folk Club as well, in this, which is, you know, because you're a, a major part of Chalton Folk Club, you know, starting the evening off every week, and I think it'll be, um, it'll just be a, a fitting tribute to the club as well, you know what I mean? But that's, that, that's the main inspiration and aim of doing it as well. A team as... effort, no big stars. Check. Cop is a self-styled armed detective hero as he sees himself and uh, there's rather a lot of ego involved uh, he sort of sees himself as the acest detective that ever lived Tech Cop rolled over and Tech Cop rolled over and over and over never losing sight of the suspect, shooting, shooting first, first and asking questions asking afterwards. afterwards. That's okay. No, no criminal, criminal messes with me, me said Tech off. Cop, or else they get one of my karate death chops. Or else they get one of my karate death chops. Mysterious sort of yeah. in there, and then it, it could, you could have a bit of a maybe a bit of trumpet in it. And then there's uh, Don't We Bobo. This is about the head of Spectre, a notorious spy organization first mentioned in the novels of the late Ian Fleming. Don't We Bobo? said the head of Spectre as he stroked his pet Bulldog Bobo He might say it more like this Don't we Bobo Don't we Bobo Yes, sorry Yes, you're right I think I have used that intonation once before and I'm good that this is what I want the feedback from you know what I mean? So Don't we Bobo Okay don't we, Bobo? Said the head of Spectre as he stroked his pet bulldog, Bobo. Meanwhile, the head of the CIA, Coco, a beautiful red and blue macaw, 
perched on top of his cage in Urmston Pet Shop and said, Hello! And... Chelsea Knickers! Yes, I can put the emphasis on the words that I, I've written uh, with, with how I saw them as being spoken or sung. A double agent, that flower seller, packed a secret poisoned umbrella on a park bench reading a newspaper of the nation. The double agent wore a pink carnation. Codenamed Kremlin was obsessed that the double agent had confessed to Boris of the KGB. Then he lost his liberty. The machine pistol. Of Agent 007 sends a foreign spy into espionage heaven. They will never notice, sir. Uh, it's about somebody who went to a consultant and had hair awareness and he also had bald awareness and the need to look ten years younger. I didn't dare dance a jig because it was a deluxe wig. The Ballad of Naught E Pussycat. Naught E sits upon a seat. Delicious meaty chunks are his favourite treat. Naught E can take out a bird or a mouse. Ever seen him kill a grey squirrel stone dead? Naughty is an outdoor cat they dread. Go cat, go cat, meaty chunks, yeah. Well, it can be, and that's what we and that's what we're doing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, here's to us. I'm Bossington, Bosnovich from Bosnistan. I play cool guitar when I can. Take those riffs, man, once in a while. Half a million gold pieces and shoes. For the whole team. Don't take yourself too seriously and don't give up the day job. Concept album, I'm your man. I play cool riffs, mainly because I've just flown back from the planet Mars. So basically, what will have happened, you will have recorded your ideas the songs with the about Edward Edwardley and the Marcus of Flixton album. A photo shoot at the zoo, perhaps. And I have had my ideas recorded. Yeah. And all that will happen is you'll probably blend the two together to come up with the final result. Then I want to record another track. Hit record after hit record, back to back. I think you've done a brilliant job and I'm bossing King Bosnovic from Bosnistan. No, right, that, that is really good tempo. I'm very pleased. I mean, it's, it's, I think it'll go at the end, actually. With it being about me, I don't want it to be, you know... Well, it shows you don't tongue. take yourself too seriously. Well, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's good for your image. <laughs> I think you're right. Dig it, boogie, dig it, man. I'm buzzing, turn buzzing, bitch from Buzzers. I tried all my life not to take myself too seriously. And here's the Brian. I'm Bossington Bosnovich from Bosnistan. Dig it, man. Dig that boogie. Dig it, man. I'm Bossington Bosnovich from Bosnistan. Dig it, man. Dig that boogie. Dig it, man. I'm Bossington Bosnovich from Bosnistan. Preserve your amateur.
Fighter Status Team.